Hi, this is Shane and welcome back to another episode of Peace of Mind. And I have been busy. I, um, because last week we started immersive engineering. We made a couple of machines, which you can see through the window. And also I, we started growing hemp seeds. We started with two. I now have three rows of is that 64? I don't think it's 64, but I've got three rows of hemp seeds. Hemp plants, sorry. And, um, yeah, because we need, we need loads in order to make sails for the windmill. Which we will get to in a bit. So I think I have enough now. But I'll leave these growing, so then if I need to come and harvest more, I can. But so far, I have quite a few stacks. Oh, okay. Quite a few stacks of hemp fibres, which hopefully should be enough. We'll see. And also, I went mining. I got some um, copper, which I have smelting in here because you need lots of copper is there anything left nope right but you need lots of copper for immersive engineering that's one of like the backbones okay so let's have a look at what we need to do we need let's see immersive engineering use capacitors to store energy clicking a block with an engineer's hammer will change that side of the block between input blue and output orange you can place wire connectors on capacitors and machines to prepare them for energy transfer. You can co then connect two blocks to transfer power by holding wire coils in your hand and clicking two wire connectors. Read the engineer's man manual to learn the difference between LV, MV and HV, which is low voltage, medium voltage and high voltage capacitors, wire connectors, wire coils and transformers. And if a wire cannot be used to connect two wire connectors because they're too far apart, use wire relays. Relays cannot input or output power to blocks, but they can, use, they can be used to extend wires over long distances, which comes in very handy. So let's start making some wires. So what do we need to make? We need 16 wire coils, um, eight wire connectors, one capacitor and eight wire relays okay let's start making wire coils and we need our engineer cutters and we need the hammer right so let's get a stack of copper and let's see what we need to do coils wire coil so we need we need 16 so we need four lots so you need copper plates and that is with a copper ingot and engineer's hammer okay so if we get 16 let go thank you turn those into plates and then you need the cutters to turn those into wire. We need sticks as well. There's four sticks. And where's our wires? And you put them round like that and that should give us 16 coils. All right, so we need two wire connect, eight wire connectors. Okay. If I just put LV, oh yeah, uh, right, LV connector, we need terracotta, do we have, yes we do, two, we needed four, four gives you, that only gives you one, right, no, that gives you four, so we need four, okay, we need redstone, treated wood planks, Lead ingot, iron. Do I have any lead? That looks like it might be lead. 
No, it's a seared brick. Do I not have any lead? What's that up there? That's steel. That's iron. I don't think I have any lead. Hmm. Okay, I'm going to have to go and do some mining. See if I can find some. Yeah, that's steel. Yeah, I don't think I have any lead. Okay, I'm going to go do some mine. Oh, we might have... Let's just check these. It's aluminium. Nope. Okay, I'm going to go do some mining and I will be right back. Right, so did some mining. I smelted up some lead. Uh, let's see, where's the treated planks? Is that it? Yeah. And I need some iron. And we need copper, which I took out. LV capacitor. And what was the last thing? LV wire relays. All right, you want, and how many did they want? They want eight. Okay, so you want two bits of terracotta. No. I'm missing, oh, missing another copper ingot. Thought I took out two. And that should complete it. There you go. And we get 32 copper ingots, which is good. Right, the next thing. Oh, we need to make a balloon and a strip curtain. What? And we get a loot chest. Okay, the balloon is hemp cloth. How do you make hemp cloth? Hemp fibres. How do you make hemp fibres? Hemp rope. Alright, well, we need some hemp stuff. Let's go mine what we have, because that should be... Yeah, should be all grown up. Do we have space? Eh, not really. Let's go empty out our inventory because refined storage can't come quick enough, I think. Right, we will use the um, wooden storage crates as our refined storage. Refined storage? Immersive engineering thing. Uh, engineering hammer. There's coal coke. There's the connectors. Anything else? No. Oh the wire cutters. I knew there was something else. And let's just put everything else in here. I know, I like the pig pet. He gives me stuff. He gives me um pork. Alright, let's see what we can let's see what we can get. Right, have we collected everything? Let's go have a look. This stuff is precious. It's more precious than gold, I think, or diamonds, or emeralds, or any other precious metal that you want to put there. Okay, let's see. We want... What do they want? A balloon? Two balloons. Alright. Hemp cloth.
All right, so you wanted three per. So you want one, two, three, four, five, six. And what else did we need? Hopefully we have enough. Let's put it in here. B A L O no. I always spell balloon wrong. I don't know why. Uh, we need a torch and a treated wood slab. Do I have any torches in here? I must... Mm, no, I don't. I thought I did. Okay, charcoal and some stick to make torches and treated wood slabs oh that gives you okay I should have seen that it was a bit stupid and got the balloon and what's the other thing? strip curtain uh, rods iron rod steel okay I'm guessing you make iron rods like that and you get four. That's fine. And we need three more bits of paper. We have two. Let's go get nine more pieces of hemp fibre. Oh, didn't mean to harvest half of my crops. Let's put the crops away. No, not that. And um, right. We have enough. She says clicking more. <laughs> I can't leave them by themselves. It just looks odd to me. I have to clear it. Okay, uh fiber. One more hemp cloth. Okay, so and you get a loot chest for that. See, this is what we need kinetic dynamo and a water wheel. Okay, so what do you use these for? That's it. Like windows. I can use them as curtains, I guess. Alright, and what do you use the balloon for? Should I take it outside? I probably should take it outside. I might lose it though. Oh! It lights stuff up. That's interesting. That is very interesting. Okay, I'm liking that. And I like the curtains over the windows actually. That's pretty cool. That is not bad, okay. Right. Alright, so they want a kinetic dynamo, copper block, Okay, we can do that. So we want the LV coil. Might help if I spelt it correctly. Kinetic. 
Okay, you want that as a copper block. Two pieces of redstone. And there's a kinetic dynamo. And the water wheel. Wait a minute. Um, to make you make the water wheel, but not the windmill. That's interesting. That's very interesting. Okay. Although, to be honest, I don't know how the water wheel is going to work when you have this mod in here that has, um, that makes winters and freezes over the lakes. That should be interesting. Right, what else we wanted? Uh, we need treated wood planks. We need more treated wood planks. All right, let's get some wood. And I think we need, do we have another crafting table we can take from somewhere? No. All right, let's get some more, get some more logs, make another crafting table and put it outside. Right, now let's see if we can do the trick with the drum that you can with, um, need the pickaxe for that, that you can with a, uh, a tank. If I put the drum in the middle, no, I don't want to empty it out. I want to put that all around it, nope. Okay. Has to be buckets. Alright, that's fine. Because um, with the... Oh, I can't remember which kind of tanks it is. But when you put it in the middle... Okay, why wouldn't you... I don't know. When you put the tank in the middle, it would... um. It would automatically do that and I can't remember which mod it is but that's in my Autonotom series if you're interested. I've lost the creosote oil. I know at some point there's going to be an easier way to do this but at the moment it's only this way and it's really annoying. I forgot my train of thought. There has to be an easy way to pipe the creosote oil into a container but I don't know what that is yet but I'm sure we'll find out at some point there you go there's a stack put that there we needed treated wood sticks Okay, um, sail, no, water, wheel, oh, and how many of those do we need? We need four of those, okay, one, Okay. Two, three, four. And then we need a water wheel. And we're missing a piece of steel in the middle. What's 
that water wheel? Better with mods. What's that do, I wonder? Alright. And we've got our water wheel. Great. And that gives us eight MV wire connectors. Okay, um, time to start generating some energy. Place the kinetic dynamo a few blocks off the ground, then place the water wheel so it's connected to the side with a black circle. Place a wire connector on the kinetic dynamo and use the wire coils to transfer the, transfer the energy it generates. Place water source buckets, wa water source blocks with a bucket so that the water flows in a way that it pushes the wheel. Okay, you can actually place up to three water wheels next to each other for every one connected dynamo to generate more power. You can also weight windmills and connect them to a kinetic dynamo to generate energy too. Right, so let's make a windmill because I know for sure we will get energy that way. And before we do that, did that open up? what we need it to open up um, which was advanced storage yes good 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 right so welcome to refined storage you now have a mass storage system for the pack so we want eight nether quartz which i'm sure we have and processor binding all right and eight of those okay so let's make let's make the um the windmill but then i have to think about where i'm going to put it because once you've made the windmill you got to think about where it's going to go because you need to generate. Where do I want to put my storage system? I think I'm going to put the windmill on this side. So I'll put my storage system on this side. Yeah, that could work. Right, windmill. What do we need? Alright, so to make the windmill, you need windmill blades. You need eight of those. And then you need windmill sails. How do you make tough fabric? Okay, so it's a little cheaper to make tough fabric than it is to make the top the thing. All right, windmill, windmill blade, windmill sail. And if I press R, no. Can I not see what recipes it's used in? Oh, that's what I want. So we need eight blades around a piece of iron. Okay. Oh, we have exactly enough around. That is iron, right? Yes. And that gives us our windmill. We need the kinetic dynamo for that. And then to make the sails, you need one, two, three, four, five, six tough fabric by eight. Okay. And we can use ordinary sticks for this. Are we full? Okay. We are full. Let's put the iron rod here. Alright, so we made the windmill blades, didn't we? Didn't we just make windmill? Yes. No, that was to make the water wheel. I swear we just made windmill blades. Am I, um... There you go. See, the problem is it's dark and I can't, I couldn't see it. Honestly, could not see that. 
Right, senior moment for the day. We've made the windmill blades. We need to make the windmill sails. So we need to make tough fabric. Okay. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Counting with Shane. And we'll leave the tough fabric for other things because it's more, it's usable. Now, do you, no, I think you put these on. Yeah, you put these on once it's up. So for the windmill, we need the kinetic dynamo. That would help. It's already in my inventory, cool. We have ladders somewhere. Okay, so basically for the windmill, it used to be the higher you go, the more energy you produce, but I think that's been changed. But you just need um, something to put it against. So I'm going to use this tree. So, kinetic dynamo. Right, so if I have a look down, the black side is there. That's where we need to put the um, the sail. That's the water wheel. Windmill. And it's on. And it's turning, which is awesome. It doesn't hurt you while you're up here, so if it like goes through you, you're fine. Maybe I need to be facing it from the front, possibly. Ouch. That's quite high up. Oh, ow, ow, ow. Stupid things. All right, I'm gonna have to relocate you guys. Yeah, and I need, don't have enough. Oh, I have these things. Ow. Where are we? Up here. So I'm doing this with you guys rather than cutting away and doing it so at least we can see what you need to do we could puzzle it out together yeah you just right click the center and you get you get sales the sales make it go faster yes that is awesome so we need it's gonna hurt I know we had the boots on. It wasn't going to hurt. That's fine. That is fine. I forgot we had the long fall boots on. Right, so the kinetic dynamo we need to put on the side. Not the kinetic dynamo. I'm talking rubbish. It is the wire connector. We need the LV wire connector. You connect it to the side of the kinetic dynamo. I'll put a wire relay here so that it can be relayed down and the capacitor where's the middle of the house and it's about there i'm gonna eyeball it that looks like the middle because you need the um you need an un unobstructed line like sign of light sign of light light of sight yeah no that sounds wrong line of sight i think that no that's correct it just sounded wrong but it needs to be unobstructed so i couldn't put the um the capacitor on the inside and have the wire go through it because it's not going to go through the block 
So, um, one of my subscribers to, I uh, can't remember who it was that had told me this, but they said, put what they did is that they put the capacitors in the wall, so then you don't have to break blocks for the wires to go through, which makes sense. So I'm going to do that, but I'm not going to do that right now. Why is there... There's a oh, stupid weather. There's a space right there where nothing is falling. Or maybe it's just where I'm looking. Or well, that's where the beacon goes up in the air. Let's go out here and have a look. I've never noticed that. And no matter where I look, the beacon is there. No, it's not the beacon. It's just... Where my block is, I think. Where my... I don't know. I don't know why there's a gap. Anyway. Enough of that. I'm... Lost. There's my house. Oh god, that was disorientating. So. We have started immersive engineering. And we did enough to generate some energy. And to start to open up the advanced... Uh, storage, find storage quest line, which is what we wanted. So at some point we will go back to immersive engineering because it is fun. It definitely is fun and you can, you know, you can make a lot of machines and stuff with it. I don't know if we'll need to make the machines, but you can, right? And I think what I will do, ooh, there's an excav excavator interesting but what I will do now that we've opened that up I will go into the refined storage bit so we will spend the next couple of episodes doing refined storage so that at least we can get some kind of storage and then we can go back to what we were doing so thanks very much for watching please like comment and subscribe it really helps to grow my channel and I will see you guys in the next episode Okay, thanks for watching. Bye-bye.